Hi everyone. Today in this video let us discuss calculation of maintenance dose given by oral route administration. Let us take one practical example. A 60 kg patient requires procainamide HCL orally every 6 hours to achieve average steady state plasma concentration as 6 microgram per ml. Half life is 3.5 hours and apparent volume of distribution is 1.7 liter per kg. Absolute bioavailability is 0.85. If the salt value of given medication is 0.87, then calculate the maintenance dose required to maintain steady state plasma concentration. So, this is the problem we have to solve. And here the drug is the procainamide HCL, which is given by oral route. So it is an extravascular administration and it is given to a patient with body weight 60 kg and this dose is to be given every 6 hours to achieve a steady state plasma concentration around 6 microgram per ml. And here other data given half life is 3.5 hour. Apparent volume of distribution is given as 1.7 liter per kg. Here volume of distribution is given as liters per kg of body weight of the patient. So we have to calculate the total apparent volume of distribution for the given patient. Other data include absolute bioavailability as 0.85. Since this drug is given by oral administration, it is not completely absorbed. The factor of bioavailability is around 0.85. And finally, salt value of the medication is given as 0.87. From this data, we have to calculate the maintained dose that is required to maintain steady state plasma concentration. So now let us see the solution for this question. The drug is given by oral administration and it is given as multiple doses in order to achieve steady state plasma concentration. So we can draw a plot with y axis as plasma concentration of the drug and x axis as time. So this is the plasma time concentration profile. And since this drug is given by oral administration, the drug concentration slowly rises and after multiple doses, it achieves a steady state plasma concentration. So here we can observe these are the maximum and minimum concentration of the drug after multiple doses. And it requires some time to achieve the steady state plasma concentration where the average of this maximum and minimum concentration is considered as CSS, average steady state plasma concentration. Now we can calculate the CSS by using the formula CSS is equal to F into X naught by KE into VD into tau where F is the bioavailability since it is given by oral administration F factor is considered and X naught is the dose that is required to maintain the steady state plasma concentration. KE is the elimination rate constant, VD is the volume of distribution and tau is the dosing interval. Now by using this equation we can calculate the dose that is required to maintain the steady state plasma concentration. Initially let us see what is the data that is given. Bioavailability F is given as 0.85. Elimination half life T half is given as 3.5 hour. Dosing interval tau is given as 6 hour. Volume of distribution VD is given as 1.7 liter per kg and salt value is given as 0.87. In this equation, we have bioavailability, dosing interval and volume of distribution, but K is not given, instead half-life is given. So from this half-life, we can calculate the K value. Finally, salt value is given, which is a correction factor for the dose and the real dose of the drug, which is equal to its salt form is corrected by applying salt value. But in order to proceed for the solution, initially we have to calculate the KE value from half-life. So now let us see the calculation of KE. Since elimination follows first order kinetics, KE is equal to 0.693 by T half. This is nothing but 0.693 by 3.5. So on calculating, we will get the KE value as 0.198 R inverse. So the elimination rate constant is 0.198 R inverse. Similarly, second step is the salt value. What is the salt value? Suppose a tablet contains the drug as a salt form. From this salt form of the drug, the drug is going to be released slowly as a free drug 
Now we had to consider the free drug concentration in order to calculate the steady state plasma concentration. So what are the dose of the drug in the salt form is not equivalent to the dose of the drug in the free form. So a correction is required which can be achieved by applying the salt value. Salt value for the given problem is given as 0.87. This indicates that 1 mg of the salt is equivalent to 0.87 mg of the free drug. Since the maintenance dose is unknown, we can put it as x0. So if x0 mg of the dose is given, then it is equivalent to 0.87 by 1 into x0. That is nothing but 0.87 x0 mg of the dose. So we have to apply a salt value correction factor where instead of x0, we have to put 0.87 into x0. Third one is the calculation of volume of distribution. Volume of distribution is given as per body weight, it is given as 1.7 liter per kg and the body weight of the patient is given as 60 kg. So the total volume of distribution VD is equal to 1.7 into 60 which is nothing but 102 liters. So the total apparent volume of distribution for the given patient is 102 liters. Now by using all these data, let us calculate the maintenance dose required for procainamide hydrochloride given orally. Let us see the formula CSS is equal to F into X0 by KE into VD into tau. By applying the salt correction factor, we can write this equation as CSS is equal to F into S into X0 by KE into VD into tau. Instead of X0, we have replaced it with S into X0 where S is the salt value or salt correction factor. Now by rearranging this equation, we can get the X0 value that is a maintenance dose. X0 is equal to CSS into KE into VD into tau by F into S. Now we can use this equation in order to calculate the maintenance dose required for procainamide hydrochloride. So let us take this equation and let us see what is the data given. CSS is given as 6 microgram per ml and K is calculated as 0.198 R inverse. VD is calculated as 102 liters. Tau dosing interval is given as 6 Rs. F value bioavailability is given as 0.85 and salt value is given as 0.87. So all this data is present to calculate the X0 value, but we have to check the units. Here the elimination rate constant is expressed as R inverse and dosing interval is given as R. So both are similar. And CSS is given as microgram per ml, but volume of distribution is expressed in terms of liters. So these units are not equivalent, so we have to convert into similar units. Since CSS is equal to 6 microgram per ml, we can write this as 6 mg per liter because both are equivalent. So now the units are similar, we can proceed for calculation. X0 is equal to 6 into 0 0.198 into 102 into 6 divided by 0 0.85 into 0 0.87. On calculating the numerator, we will get as 727.056 by 0 0.7395. So by simplifying this equation, we will get the X0 value as 983.17. What are the units? Since we have taken the CSS as milligrams per liter, the units for this dose will be milligrams. So we have to give 983.17 milligrams of the procainamide hydrochloride orally for every 6 hours in order to achieve a steady state plasma concentration of 6 microgram per ml. Now let us go with another example, practical example 2. In the previous example, if maintenance dose is given as IV bolus administration at every 4 hours, then what is the maintenance dose that is required to achieve same steady state plasma concentration? So this is another condition where the maintenance dose is given not as orally, it is given by IV bolus administration at more frequent intervals for every 4 hours, then what will be the maintenance dose that is required? Even we can use the same data with the previous example, but two modifications are there. One is the root of administration. It is given by IV bolus administration. So the bioavailability will be 100%. And the dosing interval is four hours. 
instead of 6 hours. So by using this data, let us calculate the maintenance dose required for procyanamide hydrochloride given by IV bolus administration. Again, we can use the same formula X0 is equal to CSS into KE into VD into tau by F into S. But here the F bioavailability is equal to 1 because it is given by IV bolus administration. Then CSS is equal to 6 mg per liter as per the previous example. K is calculated as 0.198 R inverse. VD is calculated as 1 or 2 liters and tau here is 4 hours instead of 6 hours. S value is same that is 0 0.87. Now by using this data we can calculate the X0 value as X0 is equal to 6 into 0 0.198 into 1 or 2 into 4 divided by 1 into 0 0.87. On simplifying numerator will be 484.704 divided by 0.87. On simplifying, we will get the X0 value as 557.13. Again, here the units will be milligrams. So, by IV bolus administration, we have to administer 557.13 mg of the dose for every 4 hours in order to achieve the same steady state plasma concentration 6 mg per liter, otherwise 6 microgram per ml. And here we can clearly observe that when it is given by IV bolus administration, the maintenance dose is somewhat less because of 100% bioavailability as well as the reduced dosing interval between the two maintenance doses. So that's all about the calculation of maintenance dose both in extravascular administration as well as IV bolus administration. So that's for today. In our next video, we will come with another important calculations in pharmacokinetics. Hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Share this video with your friends. Post your comments in the comment box. Thank you for watching this video.